Hello everyone, my name is Emily and this is the March Box Book Society video. Today we are talking all about retellings. If you are new here, the Box Book Society is a program that we do here at Fayetteville Public Library for teens that allows you to participate in a reading program without the pressures of a traditional book club. So when you join this program, we do give out boxes that have that month's book as well as snacks and other fun little things like a bookmark and a button. There are only 10 spots a month, so sign up as early as you can because some months they go really fast. With every month's meeting, I make one of these videos with recommendations just to talk about the book that we're reading this month as well as other books in the genre or in the topic that you might like as well. So like I said, this month is retellings and we are reading Legend Born by Tracy Dion. It's a reimagining of the legends of King Arthur in a really unique way. So our story follows 16 year old Brie right after her mom dies. Um, she kind of feels lost until she finds a summer program for high schoolers at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, um, and she decides to take a leap and join. But when she gets there on her first night, she witnesses an attack, a demon attack. She discovers this secret society called Legendborn, and these students are the ones that hunt down the demons that she saw on campus her first night. After this attack, Another student tracks her down and attempts to erase her memory. But when that doesn't work, Bree starts to notice other things happening, including other Merlins ending up in the hospital. She realizes that her mom's death may not be as clear-cut as she originally thought that it was. So she decides to do some digging, and she recruits a guy named Nick, who was exiled from Legendborn and has his own issues with the group. So what will Brie and Nick find? I guess we'll have to see when we read Legendborn in March. So now I've got a couple of other retellings from different stories that I am going to share with you guys. The first one is actually really recent, just from this past fall. It's called Within These Wicked Walls and it is a Jane Eyre retelling. So if you guys know the story of Jane Eyre, this retelling is basically that, but instead of Jane being a nanny, she is an exorcist, and people hire her to cleanse their house of evil spirits. So when Magnus Rochester hires her to do just that, she thinks it's another simple job. But when she arrives, she realizes that it's way more dangerous than she was anticipating. And if she stays there and helps Magnus, she'll likely end up dead. But as Magnus' circumstances start to unravel, she doesn't want to leave. And in fact, she wants to stay and help him. And while this is inspired by Jane Eyre, it also has a lot of Ethiopian-inspired roots, which I think is really cool. And that one is Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood. Now, the next one I have for you guys has been pretty popular over the past couple of years. The New York Times bestseller, um, it's a duology, and both are out right now, so you can read both of them, you can finish the series. Um, it is called These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Now, I don't really want to say a lot about this one because it's a pretty straightforward Romeo and Juliet retelling, um, but it's set in 1920s Shanghai um, and it has to do with gangs, mob bosses, but it also has to do with monsters. Um, it's very much an enemies to lovers. I mean, when you, when you have Romeo and Juliet retellings, there's not a lot to say. Um, but this one does have a lot of hype. It sounds so cool. I haven't read it yet, but I'm very excited to jump in when I get the chance. 
The next book I have to tell you guys about is The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Audier. And this one is a 1001 Nights retelling. It's about a fantasy kingdom that is ruled by a cruel boy king. And every night he takes a wife and by morning she's dead. Now our main character is named Shahrazad and she decides that she can keep the king from killing her by telling him a story every night but leaving the end off so that he will keep her alive long enough to learn the ending. She does this every night and as she does this she begins to see a different and unknown side of the king and she begins to fall in love with him. She also begins to realize that not everything is as it seems. If you want to find out what happens and if she survives those thousand and one nights, check out The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Audier. And the last book that I have to tell you guys about is kind of a unique one. It's called House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron Craig. And it is a it is a Twelve Dancing Princesses retelling. Our main character is named Anna Lee, and she is, you guessed it, one of twelve sisters that lives in this in this manor by the sea. Now, four of her older sisters have died tragically, um, and Anna Lee suspects that these are not accidental deaths because she knows that right before her sisters died, they were sneaking out to this ball that was being held and would not return until after dawn. Annalise starts a relationship with a mysterious stranger, and as that intensifies, she starts wondering if she's on the exact same path that her sisters walked before they died. With her theory, it is inevitable that she is the next to go, and so she has to race to discover what it was that was taking her sisters out before it takes her out too. And that is House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron Craig. And that is all that I had for you guys today. Just to recap, in March we are talking about retellings and we're reading Legendborn by Tracy Dion, um, a multiple award winner just recently. Um, the sequel to Legendborn comes out this summer. Legendborn also has been secured for television rights, um, so we may be seeing a TV show in the near future. Our meeting for Legendborn will be Monday, March 28th at 5 p.m. And as always, you can choose virtual or in person, and we will not be meeting in April. We're taking a break, but we will be back in May with a title that I cannot remember. Well, I can't find it, so I will put it at the bottom of the screen so you guys know what we're reading in May. Um, we have a great summer lineup. Um, I'm very excited for what we have coming. Some of my all-time favorite books um, are in the lineup for this year. Um, Stacy's as well. We are very excited. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!